just so show you the, uh, the cultural city of Lahore. And I'm uh, here in a place. Actually, this place is called Shahi Hammam. So this is the place where the people of... In 1600, people, people of uh, on that time, they are used to take shower here. So they are enjoying here. So uh, I'm going to show you the cultural city of Lahore and the food and the, the places. So let's go and enjoy with me. The Shahi Imam was built by the governor of Lahore, Hakim Ilmuddin Ansari, during the reign of Mughal Empire Shah Jahan. Since the formidable Wazir Han Masjid nearby was also built by him, the construction of Hammam in the 1630s was a way to aid in the financial needs of the Great Mosque. Though certain luxurious baths may have been present in other Mughal buildings, this Hammam stands out for two reasons. Firstly, it is considered unique owing to Turkish and Persian influences in its style. Secondly, it is a proper public bath instead of the neat private baths in vogue back then. It offers services that were surprisingly ahead of its times, hot, warm and cold pulses, massage places, sweet rooms and resting chambers. The bath was used both by travelers and the locals of the place. Over the years, the bath lost its purpose and the usually drill of Mughal movements follows. Mughal used huge bonfire to warm the water coming from these tunnels underneath the white marble tub. Criminally neglected by the country they ended up in, except that the tale of Shahi Hammam follows a slightly different trajectory. The major restoration work began in 2013 when this authority teamed up with Aha Khan Culture Service Pakistan and the Royal Norwegian Embassy. The Delhi Gate is one of the nine gates leading in and out of the old walled city of Lahore and one of the few that have stood the test of times. Walking through the enormous entrance, I felt overwhelmed with all the history and culture it seemed to radiate. Built by Emperor Akbar, the gate opened its word in the direction of Delhi, hence the name. Its brick walls and arch words could speak, they will tell you the tales of love and glory. I walked past the gate into a narrow sunlit street, the bazaar bustling on both sides of me. The bazaar gives a taste of vintage Lahore, different kind of tea green teas and different organic food items are available. This is a very old building and they renovate this section. And this section is almost like 5 feet below the current market. And these markets belong to Masjid Vazirhan when they constructed this masjid. Around 2013, this market belongs to different shops. And then the government take over this market and they renovate this whole area. <laughs> This is the part where they put the lantern and you can see the door. This is the part of the original shop. This section, this is also belongs to the lantern where they put the lights. It's Azam Cloth Market and it's the biggest cloth market in Asia. The market is a collage of many small interlinked bazaars.
situated in the walled city of Lahore near the famous Rang Mahal and Shah Alam markets. The Azam cloth market is the hub that has been handling wholesale distributions of cloth and ready to wear for the last six decades. Kashmiri Bazaar is one of the famous and the oldest markets of Lahore. It is situated inside Delhi Gate of Wall City. It is said that this bazaar is more than 400 years old, probably established in Mughal period. The famous Masjid Wazir Khan and Sunari Masjid of Mughal period are also available here. I reached Masjid Wazir Khan on my backside, you can see, and uh, 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 tell me the history of this. Can you, can, 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 me, can you just tell me the history of this uh, Masjid Wazir Khan? Let's move inside and then. No, 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 just, just and then we can there. study together. How huh? about, how, how you, study together? you don't know the history? Okay, so we will uh, <laughs> see the history, how much old and uh, who constructed this Masjid, so let's go inside. An important feature of entrance area of the masjid is Calligrapha's Bazaar which crosses the axis of the entrance at the right angle and is marked at the crossing with the large veranda with doom atop. You can see how Bilal is drinking water. Can you show me? Can you show me how you are drinking your water? Uh, this is to save myself from getting diarrhea from these public glasses. So, so you don't want to so try these glasses? I better prefer my hand. Oh. You know, uh, do you okay, want to it? Just show them. Move just your show hand them. like this way and then. Just show the people uh, the, how you are drinking water. You know, you see, it's not easy. Only strong human can do it. <laughs> Even this, the Jamal cannot do it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I know how to do this thing. Energy can need can you just hold the camera? I, I know how to do that. It's very hot air, so I'm just putting some water on my face. Okay, okay. Just, just keep going. I'm going to put some water on my face. To be very honest, uh, I very really enjoy myself going through this uh, street of whole city. Uh, because this is my also hometown. Actually, it's, uh, we are just exploring the history of today. Uh, the interesting thing is this bugle hole. Come with me. This one. I try to capture this bugle hole. So today, this bugle hole joined me, and I am enjoying my time with this bugle hole. And hope to see you soon. Okay. Take care. Let's go. Let's go okay. further, and we will show you. More, uh, More of what we are doing. Of uh, this uh, Masjid Wazir Khan. Chal. Wazir Khan Masjid, this beautiful building is in itself a school of design. During Shah Jahan's reign, architecture flourished across the Mughal Empire. His famous masterpiece includes the Taj Mahal and the tomb of his wife Mamtaz. This masjid located deep within the old quarter of the ancient walled city of Lahore. It was built by the governor of Punjab, Hakim Sheikh Ilmuddin Ansari. The construction of the masjid commenced in 1634. The Masjid walls are almost completely suffused with the detailed embellishment of tile mosaic, fresco painting, stone and lime plaster decoration and brick outline fresco on both the exterior and interior surfaces.
constructed over a period of seven years. It was built around an ancient subterranean tomb of the Saint Sayyid Muhammad Ishaq Zaroni, also known as Miran Bacha, who migrated from Iran in the 13th century and lived in Lahore during the time of Turkish Muslim Tughlaq dynasty. The courtyard is flanked on the northern and southern side with 28 cubicles and two pavilions facing each other across its width. The prayer chamber, courtyard, hujras, vestibule and bazaar constitute the main elements of the structure. थोड़ा ज़्यादा आगे बोलता फिर शायद फर्क पड़ता नहीं नहीं थोड़ा आगे हो थोड़ा ज़्यादा आगे हो कर तो रहा होगा कर दे रहा वो नहीं ज़्यादा नहीं हुई the way for creation of a separate state Pakistan for the Muslims of Northeast and Northwest territories under British India. March 23, 1940 is an epoch making day when the Muslims of India embarked on a journey for a separate homeland. This day served as a true testament to the vision of Dr. Lama Iqbal, the poet of Da'is who had claimed in his presidential address at Allahabad in 1930. Self-government within the British Empire of Vidya the British Empire, the formation of a consolidated North East Indian Muslim state appeared to me to be the final destiny for the Muslims, at least of North East India. Twenty third March nineteen forty determined a new course of history for the Muslims who won a sovereign strait on fourteen August nineteen forty seven in former Pakistan.
Minaret Pakistan is not a mere monument but embodies the Islamic, Mughal and contemporary architecture, preserves on stone the text of Lahore Resolution in Arabic, English, Bengali and Urdu. Grand Greater Iqbal Park commemorates the historic Pakistan Resolution, provide a vital link between the past and the present for the younger generation. Minare Pakistan also called for some time Pakistan Resolution Memorial is erected on the site where people had gathered for all India Muslim League session on March 22 to 24 1940 different types of marble and concrete have been used in the construction of the tower So I am going to show you it's a very famous fort in Lahore. Actually it's built in 1552. So I will show you Bilal, he will tell you the history of uh, little bit history of... Uh... A little bit of history like uh, this wall. Uh, they are by the wall. So by beside this wall, and this wall will have a very big mosaic painting which was visible from many kilometers away. Uh, the mosaic painting, painting was nearly one kilometer long and it should be able, I guess, if can I able to show you, still you can see some of the remaining of the painting on the walls. And so, okay, uh, okay, so let's go and we will show you the Lahore Fort. Let's go. Let's go. Explore it. There are gorgeous architectural masterpieces to see as well as many things to learn. Lahore Fort, also known as Shahi Kila, is located in the northwestern corner of the historical city of Lahore. <laughs> History of the fort is a living witness for the Zanid and the Nadir of the Mughals, the Sikhs and the Canolian rulers. The art of the fort building is reflect a series of monuments from the Emperor Akbar to the Aurangzeb. The Diwane Arm is a 14-pillar hall that was originally constructed around the early 1640s by Shah Jahan. It survived a battle but it was mostly destroyed. However, it was rebuilt by the British in 1849 AD and has stood to this day. The State Balcony Marble is one of the earliest parts of the Lahore Fort. The Mughal Gallery is like a historic library. It contains manuscripts, painting, coins and examples of Arabic and Persian calligraphy. Lahore Fort is only monuments in Pakistan which represent a complete history of Mughal architecture and the eras following it. There are quadrangles inside the fort which relate to the particular era and reflect the architecture of those times.
Lahore Fort is a beautiful historic site that is open to the public. This beautiful building has stood the test of time and it is still as magnificent now as it was centuries ago. Vane House was also constructed in the early 1640s. This structure is also known as the Hall of Special Audiences and is primarily made of marble work inlaid with agate, jade and other precious stones. There are also hand carved marble screens along with the marble cistern that showcases royalty that once used this hall. The Bangla no Lakha is a pavilion that was built during the historical Mughal era and still stands today. If you enter this building and look up, you will see a mixture of wooden trellises and fine looking glasses. The Bashe Majid was built in 1673 by the Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb in Lahore. Outside the Bashe Masjid in the Hazuri Bagh, on the southeast of the main gate of Bashe Masjid stands the imposing tomb of Allama Iqbal, Pakistan's national poet. It took 13 years to complete. It was designed by Nawab Zain Yar Jang Bahadur, the chief architecture of Hyderabad Dakkan. For 313 years, the Bashe Masjid was the largest in the world, with the capacity of 100,000 worshippers on its ground. It's dwarfed the Taj Mahal, a structure that could fit inside the massive courtyard. Although the Masjid seems like a tremendous religious structure, its history has almost seen more use as a military base. The crown jewel of Lahore, the Bashe Masjid was a symbol of power in the Mughal Empire, cursed by its size and location, when the region was cast into civil war and overtaken by six, the masjid began a new history of exploitation for military purposes. At the turn of the century, six were in control of Lahore and began using the masjid as stable for horses and other military units. Fifty years later, during the Sixth Civil War, guns were mounted on the 170 feet high minarets to bombard a group that has taken refuge in the nearby Lahore fort. The interior has rich embellishment in stucco tracery and paneling with the fresco touch, all in bold relief as well as marble inlay. But I feel very disappointed with the performance of this camera. The battery was just not lasting. No, I actually, I, I have extra battery, so don't worry for me. So now I should change my statement. I feel very disappointed <laughs> with this guy. Yeah. We already have extra battery. <laughs> but I didn't inform. So let's go. Oh, yeah.
The exterior is decorated with stone carving as well as marble inlay on red sandstone, specially of luti form motifs in bold relief. The skyline is furnished by beautiful ornamental merlins inlaid with marble lining, adding grace to the perimeter of the masjid. In its various architectural features, like the vast square courtyard, the side aisles, the four corner minarets, the projecting central transept of the prayer chamber, and the grand entrance gate. The masjid was built opposite the Lahore fort, illustrating its stature in the Mughal Empire. In conjunction with the building of the masjid, a new gate was built at the fort named Alimgiri Gate after the emperor. Actually, this is the cheap imported products here. You can find cheap imported products here. In this market, it's called Landa Bazaar. The general Levi's jeans can be purchased at 300 rupees. <laughs> Linda Bazaar is a famous for its used articles in cheap price which attract the lower and the middle income group. The market has different specialist markets inside like the shoe market, handmade clothes and many more. The Linda Bazaar was given this name because it had no roof above it. However, later it was renovated and made more comfortable. In a way, the market offers more fun to visitors, is more than a mere buying and selling point, especially for those interested in exploring Lahore's history. Once the weather changes, warm clothes will arrive in market in large quantities and many people belonging to the middle and lower middle classes will frequently visit these bazaars. Interestingly, prices here are quite affordable and much less than the other commercial areas in the posh parts of the city. This red brick building is PIA headquarter. I 
many things for watching my video and I have discovered and explored different areas of old Lahore almost like 10 to 11 places and uh, stay connected with me and don't forget to subscribe my channel.